Hey everyone, it's Chris at Rat Race Rebellion. Today, I'm going to show you how to find remote jobs with The Gap. And not just The Gap. Gap Incorporated also owns the brands Banana Republic, Athleta, and Old Navy. So the process that we're going to look at today is going to show you how to find remote jobs with all of the Gap brands, not just Gap. As always, I'm going to start on the company homepage. To keep things simple, I'm going to gap.com. Really easy to remember. And as with most retail sites, we're not going to find a listing for careers, jobs, join the team, anything like that along the top of the page. So we'll scroll to the bottom of the page where generally we'll find a more expansive menu. And under About Us, we do see Careers. So I'm going to click on that. And I want you to notice that in the address bar at the top of the page, we just made a migration from gap.com to gapinc.com. So we're now in the space of the mothership. All right, so this is the umbrella over all of those brands that I mentioned previously. Now, I do generally like to scroll down and take a look to see what the company has to say about working for them. So I'm going to do a quick scroll here to see if they have anything that might be of interest. They talk about their culture, values, perks and benefits, their different departments, uh, in-store merchandising, marketing and design, etc., and then a look behind their brands. So Nothing there that I feel is really necessary to look at before applying for a job, but certainly if you land an interview, take the time to come back to this page, dig in a little bit, learn about the corporate culture so that you can go in and speak with knowledge when they're asking you questions and so that you can design questions that will appeal to them as well. Let's go ahead and dive into the actual search. If you've seen others of my videos, you know I'm not going to put anything in these fields. I'm just going to click on their search button, or in this case, find your fit. The reason I do that is nine times out of 10, it will bring you to a page where there is a more expansive menu, and that's exactly what happened here. So we can see in the filters menu in the left column, and again, I'm looking at this site on a laptop. The layout will be different if you're viewing on a mobile device. We can see the different brands that they have here. And actually, I'm going to uncheck Gap. You can right now with Gap checked, I'm only seeing jobs at Gap. So I'm going to uncheck Gap. By unchecking that box, we're now able to see openings with all of the different brands. So first thing you want to do is get rid of any check marks that are pre-populating there. And if you go directly to gapinc.com to start your search, it probably won't be checked off, but I do want you to pay attention to that box. All right, and if we scroll down, they do have an option to select remote type, and currently 29 jobs are available remote. So I click on that, and it automatically updated the information here in that right-hand column. And I have not given it any other search parameters at this point. So currently, it's giving us all brands that have a position that is remote. One thing that I noticed in doing my research for this video is Gap does, in some cases, offer remote jobs that are very specific to a certain area or a certain state. Now that we've selected remote, we can see in the state section over here um, that there are only certain states listed. This is a good way for you to tell really quickly whether or not any of the jobs in this right-hand column are going to be available to you. So we can see currently they have just a handful of states available. And if you want to say, let's say you live in California, we'll click on that. The results that we see now in this right column are very specific. They are all open in California and they are all remote. 
So even though we're seeing San Francisco, California here, they're not necessarily regional. You'll need to take a look at the job leads that you're most interested in to see if they specify that you have to be in a certain area. You'll notice that some of them also will be open in multiple states. For example, this district manager position is also open in Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Missouri, and Mississippi. Um, so you will see some of those pop up as well. So they're not exclusive to California, but they're available in California in this example. I'm going to go ahead and just click on a job. I'll choose inventory analyst for men's clothing at Banana Republic. And you can see up here, it does have the locations, but if we look at the job description, we're not seeing a specification that you have to be in those cities. One thing I do want to point out is at the bottom of every job that's posted, you're also going to see this opportunity to sign up for job alerts. So once you've customized your search, go ahead and drop your information in there and that will help keep you apprised of what the company is posting that might be of interest to you. Next thing I want to do is see whether or not the Gap Incorporated is using applicant tracking software. And the way to do that is to click on apply and I want you to watch the address bar at the top of the page when I do that. And we just made that jump from gapincorporated.com to myworkdayjobs.com. You'll see it still says Gap Inc. up there, but the primary part of this URL is what's attached to the .com, and that's My Workday Jobs. Now, My Workday Jobs is an applicant tracking software. And I've said this in every video that I make, if a company is using applicant tracking software, and really, even if they're not using ATS, you really should create a resume that is bot friendly. So many companies now are having software, having technology screen and scan resumes and applications when they arrive. It is imperative that your resume be friendly to that software, because if it's not, the software is not going to be able to make sense of what you're submitting, and it's very unlikely that it will land in the hands of a decision maker, regardless of how qualified you are. So writing a bot-friendly resume is not that complex. It's really just a matter of formatting it in a way that's not going to trip them up during that parsing process. But it's also a matter of weaving in appropriate keywords, words that mirror back language that the talent acquisition team took the time to weave into the job description. If you want to learn how to write an applicant tracking software friendly resume, then I suggest that you go over to the ratracerebellion.com website where at the top of the page, you'll find a link that says free work from home job finding course. All you have to do is click on that. And it's very, very free. We don't even ask you for an email address and scroll down to module eight of that course. We think it's a great idea to take every module in the course, but for the purposes of this conversation about applicant tracking software friendly resumes, I suggest that you stop at module eight click on that link and you'll find yourself at a page where we have the video module that will take you through a step-by-step -step this just explaining what ATS is, how it works and why it's so important that you have a bot friendly resume. Underneath that, you'll find our links and resources among which you'll find a worksheet that will help you in resume writing or rewriting, and also templates that you can download and use as a base for building your own applicant tracking software friendly resume. While you're here at the ratracerebellion.com site, I suggest that you hop up to the upper right-hand corner of any page and click on that 
click to subscribe to subscribe to our daily email newsletters. Doing that will ensure that you never miss out on any of the information and jobs and posts that we make to our website. We do post screened legitimate remote job opportunities five days a week, Monday through Friday. You can make sure that you pop over there every day as well to make sure you're not missing anything, but the newsletter will help to ensure you don't miss anything. That's it for finding jobs at The Gap and their other companies that fall under their umbrella. If you liked this video, please take a moment to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel. If you do subscribe, be sure to click on the little bell icon to receive notifications every time we update our content. That's it. Everybody have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Bye-bye now.